Well, thanks to you guys, I managed to reach over 10,000 subscribers. So you know what that means? Giveaway time! Hello everybody, I'm Robert Storms. Welcome back to the channel once again. If you're finding me for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for helping me get over 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate and love each and every one of you guys. This coming Wednesday will be my 10,000 subscriber live q and I'll be giving away a free digital copy of The Last Jedi. But right now... We're going to give away some pop figures. So if you want to win one of these Black Panther pop figures, all you have to do is go on Twitter and do hashtag BP Pick Me Storm. That's right. Hashtag BP Pick Me Storms. And you must, of course, be a subscriber. And in two days from now, I'll randomly pick two winners. So Wednesday, be sure to check my newest videos. I will announce the winners then. So according to The Hollywood Reporter, Black Panther is now officially the highest grossing domestic superhero film of all time. That's right. Here in North America, Black Panther is number uno. It is number one. Black Panther has surpassed the Avengers. And let's keep in mind, this is just the North American record. Avengers still has that number one spot worldwide. But for Black Panther, a film with a African-American lead in his first solo standalone film to be the highest grossing superhero film domestically of all time? What? What? Nobody would have believed it. Nobody, don't even sit there and say, yo, I believe, no, 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 you, you, you didn't know shit, okay? Two years ago when they announced Black Panther, you were sitting there going, I ain't going to go see Black Panther. You were thinking the same shit. And then when Captain America Civil War came out, you are like, man, I can't wait to go see Black Panther. But in all seriousness, guys, congratulations to Black Panther. It is a fantastic movie. It really is. It deserves all its praises again. It deserves all that bank it's making. Ryan Coogler did an excellent job directing this film. The cast was fantastic. And once again, Kevin Foggy knows how to pick the right creative team. I'm looking at you, DCEU. So it's still unclear as of right now if Black Panther is going to be able to beat Pacific Rim Uprising this weekend at the box office to retain its number one spot for a sixth consecutive week. The estimates are out, but nothing is official just yet. I personally would love to see Black Panther be number one for six weeks straight, especially since... Pacific Rim Uprising wasn't really that good. That movie was a huge disappointment. And I'd rather see a film that is actually a solid good film, getting good praises, breaking records, continue to do well, rather than have a shitty film come out and be the number one movie just because Black Panther's been out for five weeks and more people want to go see Pacific Rim because it's the newest movie. But Black Panther managed to take out the Avengers. One guy, one man in a solo film was able to take out a team of Avengers. It's amazing. It's crazy. Nobody would have thought it. I'm personally very happy, but I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button. Once again, if you're finding me for the very first time, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me cross 10,000. I love you all. Until next time, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.